heart went Okay, so on to the last section of our discussion on determinants. These are the different methods we use in evaluating determinants. So, actually, class, because of numerous researches and so many interests on math, on mathematics, napaharami ng methods on solving for determinants. So, ang problema, it's hard to compile all of them. So, ang pinili ko lang are the ones we use the most or yung commonly used methods para sa atin. So, in this discussion, we'll focus on four methods lamang. And those are the Leibniz formula, which we'll use on second-order matrices, the Sars method for third-order matrix, the Laplace cofactor expansion, and the pivotal element method or the pivotal method for any size or any order of matrices. Okay, let's move on to the first method. So the first method is the Leibniz formula. This is in honor of Gottfried Leibniz. Okay, I'll, I'll try to discuss this briefly using the whiteboard. So this particular formula gives the determinant as permutations of the entries in the matrix A. So magiging problema lang natin dito is I'm not sure if you are familiar with permutations or you've mastered permutations in your math in the modern world. Okay, so, but for the purpose of this discussion, so, pinakamadali daw na nagagamit natin si Leibniz formula on second order matrices, and that is a 2 by 2 matrix. So, in this 2 by 2 matrix A, you have entries A11, A12, A21, A22. By Leibniz formula daw, the determinant of A is simply the product of the diagonals, di ba? You have A12, ah, uh, sorry, you have A11 times A22, a21, A12, and then the difference of the two. Okay, that's your Leibniz formula. Okay, so let me show you how to solve a determinant using the Leibniz formula. Lalo na kung hindi 2 by 2 yung matrix, ano? kasi baka mamaya na-curious yung iba sa inyo. Ngayon, let's start with the 2 by 2 first, the one in the PowerPoint presentation that we have. So, kung magsasolve ka ng determinant using Leibniz formula at 2 by 2 siya, it's very hard to explain the notation of the Leibniz formula. So, instead of that, I'll just show you the steps on how you're going to do it, okay? So, if this is your matrix and you want to solve for the determinant of matrix A, so I'm going to remove this para maging absolute value siya. Thus, it indicates determinant. So, with Leibniz formula, ganito po ang gagawin. Pipili kayo ng entry, isa, from each row. So, ibig sabihin, since 2 by 2 ito, you have 2 rows. So, you're going to choose one entry from the first row and another entry from the second row. Pero ano ang rule? Ang rule ay, the entries should be in unique columns. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Halimbawa, sa first row, pumili ako ng entry, pinili ko si A. That would be A. Imumultiply ko siya, to another entry in the second row naman, pero you have to make sure na yung pinili nyo pong entry sa second row nasa ibang column ng pinili nyong entry sa first row. So, kung si entry sa first row ay nasa first column, dapat pagdating mo sa second row, doon na tayo sa ibang column niya. Iisa na lang naman yan, diba? Which is D. And then, you're going to find all the um, all the possible combinations of entries dun sa matrix na meron tayo. So, I've chosen A in the first row. Hindi ko pa napipili si B. So, I'm going to choose B naman. Tapos, pag pumili ako ng entry sa second row, I'm going to choose C. Kasi, hindi pwede si D kasi they're in the same column, ba? So, I'll choose C. And then, paano tayo naglalagay ng sign? Okay? So, yung sign po ng ating ng ating products nakadepende sa permutation ng columns yun. Okay? So, halimbawa, um, ano ba? So, ito yung product natin. Okay, product. And then, let's say, ilagay natin yung sequence ng column. And then, yung numbers of permutation natin. Okay? And whether it's odd or even. Okay, mamaya, explain natin yan later. 
So, this is AD product. Ilagay natin yung sequence ng column kung nasa nito, di ba? So, A is in the first column. D is in the second column po. Okay, while for BC naman, B is in the second column and C is on the first column. Yan. Itong number na to, ito yung number of permutations, para maibalik mo how many times you have to permutate the columns, para maibalik mo siya sa tamang sequence na 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So, depende sa number ng, depende sa number ng columns na meron ka, ano. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang sequence ni AD ay 1, 2, ilang beses mo siya ipepermutate para maging 1, 2 siya. Siyempre, hindi mo na siya ipepermutate, di ba? Kasi, Nandun na siya sa tamang sequence. Thus, yung number of permutations niya would be 0. Since 0 is an even number, we're going to write here even, yung numbers of permutation. For BC naman, this is 2, 1. Ibig sabihin, baliktad. ba ang kailangan natin mabuo dito, magkasusun magkakasunod yung sequence ng columns natin. So, ilang beses mo, ipepermutate para bumalik itong 2, 1, papunta sa 1, 2. Diba, isang beses lang, isang beses mong it should change yung position. That's why this is 1. Now, add number yung permutation niya. Kapag even ang permutations, positive ang sign ng product. Pag add ang permutation, negative ang sign ng product. Thus, this is positive AD plus negative BC or simply AD minus BC. So, ganun po na-create yung ating um, solution using Leibniz formula. It's based on permutation. That's why it's hard to it's hard to elaborate on permutations because I'm not aware of what skill you have when it comes to permutations. Although I know it has been introduced to you in math in the modern world. You know? Okay. So, paano ba natin malalaman how many products are there in a certain matrix? So, babalik tayo dun sa principle of counting, ba? So, in the first Parang, if you choose, how many ways can you choose an element in the first row based on this given? That would be 2 times. Pag nakapili na ako ng isa dito because I'm restricted with the column, ano ba, pinili ko yung element in the first column. Pagdating mo sa second row, isa na lang yung pwede mong piliin. Kaya multiply by 1. Thus, you have 2 products for the solution of a 2 by 2 matrix. Or simply, what's this? 2 factorial. And as you notice, itong 2 factorial na to, itong 2 na to represents the order of the matrix, which is second order. So, kung third order yung matrix, ma-automatic, 3 factorial to, ba? Okay, so, let's do that. Halimbawa, we have absolute of B, and matrix B or determinant B contains um, 3 rows and 3 columns. That makes it a third order matrix. So, let's say yung elements natin ay A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, ay, tama ba yung alphabet ko? <laughs> Mukhang hindi pala akong marunong, di ba? Okay. Now, so since this is a 3 by 3 matrix, matrix that's third order, it should show us that we should create 3 factorial products. Or simply 3 times 2 times 1 or 6. 6 products. Bakit nangyari yun? So, pag pumili ka sa first row, May tatlo kang choices, ba? It's either you choose A, you B, you choose B, or C. Kaya tatlong choices yon. Ngayon, kung pumili ka ng isang element dito, let's say, si A yung pinili mo, pagdating mo sa second row, dadalwa na lang yung pagpipilian natin. Bakit? Kasi nakagamit ka na ng first column. So, second and third columns na lang yung choices. Thus, on the second row, you get two columns to choose from. Pag pumili ka ng isa dito, let's say, si A pinili mo yan. Pagdating mo sa third row, hindi mo na pwedeng piliin si first and second column kasi nagamit mo na sila. Thus, you're left with only one choice. The reason why, we have six as our answer. So, kailangan makabuo tayo ng anim na products. Ano po? Mag-testing tayo. So, halimbawa, first row tayo. Pinili ko si A. Okay. Pagdating ko sa second row, so napili ko na to, I can choose... Either E or F. So, let's say I chose E. And then, wala na akong choice. Pagdating sa third row, third column na lang pipiliin ko, and that's I. Kuha tayo ng isa pa. Halimbawa, pinili ko si A. So, ano ba yung hindi ko napili kanina? Hindi ko napili si F, ba? Hindi mo pwedeng piliin si D, para silang nasa first column. Halimbawa, pinili ko si F. Ano na yung ginamit ko? First, third, 
So, pagdating sa third row, second, call lang tayo, AFH tayo. Okay? Meron ka bang ibang combinations of entries? Wala na, di ba? Okay, kasi, ano nga ang requirement? Kailangan unique ang columns ng bawat isang element dun sa product natin. Okay? Next, let's choose B naman. So, pipiliin ko si B sa first row. Pag pinili ko si B sa first row, pagdating sa second row, let's say, piliin ko muna si F. So, third column yon. So, pagdating ko sa third row, ginamit ko na ang second, third column. Sa third row, I'll use G. Next, Halimbawa, B ulit. Anong hindi ko ginamit? Si D, di ba? Bawal ko naman gamitin si E eh. So, halimbawa, D, B, D. So, I used second, first column. And then, on the third row, I'll use third column. That's I. Meron pang iba? Wala na. Next, I'll choose C naman on the first row. So, pag pinili ko si C, pagdating dito, let's say, I choose D muna. And then, what did I use? I used first and third column. So, sa third row, I'll use second column. And then, if I have C ulit, bawal to, I've used D. So, C naman pipiliin ko. So, third second, third second column, sa third row, gagamit, gagamitin mo first column. Now, let's identify the permutations. Ano? Sundan lang natin to ha. Okay, so we have A, E, I. Let's locate the columns. A is first. E is second, I is third. So, in this case, kailangan mo namang bilangin yung how many permutations do you have to create or do you have to do para lang mapabalik yung sequence ng columns to 1, 2, 3. So, since 1, 2, 3 na to, hindi natin kailangan mag-permutate, kaya 0. 0 is even, so that's positive. Kaya positive sign ito. And then we have AFH, and that's 1... What's F? F is 3, and H is 2. Yan. Ilang beses tayo magpe-permutate or mag-change ng position para lang maibalik sa 1, 2, 3 itong sequence na to. Iba ito lang yon. Kailangan mo lang pagpalitin si 2, 3 para maging 1, 2, 3 siya. So, ibig sabihin, ilang beses. Isang beses mo lang i-move, ipe-permutate. Therefore, that's 1. So, kung add yan, negative. Therefore, minus ngayon ito. Okay? Next, BFG. So, BFG is positioned at 2. F is at 3. And then, G is at the first column. Okay. Para mapabalik ko to sa... Para mapabalik ko to sa 1, 2, 3, kailangan kong pagpalitin. Pwede kong pagpalitin si 1 at 2. 1 at 2. So, that's one permutation. Pag pinagpalit ko to, 1, 3, 2 yun, ba? And then, you have to... In Pag pinagpalit mo, that's 1, 3, 2. And then, ipepermutate mo ng isa pa ito para bumalik siya sa 1, 2, 3. So, that's second permutation. Therefore, you have two permutations for BFG para bumalik siya sa 1, 2, 3. Thus, positive yung product ngayon niya. So, positive ito. And then, BDI, B is second, D is first, and then I is third. So, anong pagpapalitin natin? Ito lang. Flip 1 and 2. One time. Kuha mo na si 1, 2, 3. So, negative. Next, you have C, D, H. So, C is on the third. D is on the first. And H is on the second. So, pwede nating pagpalitin si 2 at 3. Isang beses yon. So, one flip or one change position. Magiging 2, 1, 3 yan. And then, pagpalitin mo naman to, that's your second change in position para maging 1, 2, 3 siya. So, that would be two ways positive ngayon. So, plus ito. And then, for CEG, CEG, so, CEG is third column, second column, and first column. Pag finlip mo to ng isang beses, 1, 2, 3 na siya. So, negative. Yun. Ay, negative yung BDI. Yan. Ito ngayon yung solution natin for 3 by 3 So, kung maging 4 by 4 5 by 5 medyo mataluti si Leibniz formula. That's why I mentioned kanina na, I, I mentioned in the PowerPoint presentation na we most likely use Leibniz on 2 by 2 Okay. Let me show you an example for a 2 by 2 determinant. 
So, this is our example. We have a 2 by, two by two matrix here that consists of trigonometric functions and we're being asked to find the absolute value of A. So, using Leibniz formula to find the determinant of A, we simply take a product of the diagonals and that would be cosine theta, cosine theta, minus the product of the upper diagonal and that would be sine beta, sine theta. Okay, so if you're going to notice here, you have two angles or two angles and it's in a sequence of cos cos sin sin. So if you're, if you can recall your identities, you'd notice na we can rearrange this in this manner since multiplication is commutative. Pwede ko siyang gawin ganito. Pwede ko tong pagpalitin, di ba? Just so I can show you that this is cos cos sin sin. On the sequence of angles theta and then beta. Theta and then beta. So, cos cos sin sin is cosine, di ba? Cosine of two angles. Ang tanong ay, what is the operation? So, so kung cos cos sin sin yan, reverse sign, that's plus. This will be the determinant of A. So, kagaya ng sabi ko, the matrix is not limited to constants, to whole numbers. It can be... Um, Complex numbers, so yung complex na inaral natin in the first part, pwede ulit pumasok dito. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan yung complex natin. Okay?